of punting is surprisingly difficult to master, and our punting tickets allow you to be chauffeured gently along the river. Or you can throw a caution to the wheels and try punting yourself. On our left is Morden College, founded in 1542. It is named after Thomas, Lord Morden of South of Morden, and is pronounced Morden, the first spelled of Magdalene. Former students here include Charles Kingsley, author of The Water Baby, and Samuel Pepys, the famous diarist. If you look to your left as we cross the river bridge, you will see the Pepys Library behind the beautifully maintained gardens. To our right is St John's College, founded in 1511 by Lady Margaret Beaufort, the grandmother of Henry VIII. Sir George Gilbert Scott designed the college chapel with its lovely square tower in 1869. The college is frequently open to visitors for a small fee. Prince William, Duke of Cambridge, studied a course on agricultural management here. Traveling around the Four Lamps Roundabout, so named because it was originally illuminated by four gas lamps in the center of the island. The Wesley Methodist Church to the right was dedicated in 1914. We are now entering Short Street, which, as the name suggests, is the shortest street in Cambridge. Marcus Peace also gained the famous Queen Cambridge's first airport. The 
first place to visit Cambridge landing here in 1911. A student, W.B. Rhodes Morehouse, piloted the aircraft, which was a very good Rhodes Morehouse later received the Victoria Cross during the First World War for conspicuous gallantry. railway station is so far from the city centre. The reason goes back to 1845, when the railway company wanted to link Cambridge with other major cities. The university, however, was not very keen on this idea. They thought that students would take advantage of the railway to visit the distractions of London. see many of our university colleges and teaching departments. The contrast between the city and the surrounding Fenland and experience many of the sights and sounds that are a part of our beautiful and historic city. Past the museum, the college coming up on your left behind the iron railings is Peter House, founded in 12th the oldest college in Cambridge and also one of the schools. Famous alumni from Peter House include Frank Whittle, who invented the jet engine, Charles Babbage, father of the father of Peter, and more recently Sam Mendes, the film director. If you look to the right, you'll see Pembroke College.
collected Darwin College, which is one of five postgraduate colleges here in Cambridge. It was founded in 1964 and houses around 500 students. Darwin was the first Cambridge college to accept both men and women. The college takes its name from the famous naturalist Charles Darwin, who wrote the book 